Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be sharing with you my top 10 recommendations for eyeshadow palettes this summer. So if you want to see what they are, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market. And this is one of my favorite quarterly videos to film every season. I like to go through my collection and pull out the palettes that I want to use and that I want to encourage you guys to use for the summer. Of course, you aren't limited to what eyeshadow palettes you wear based on this season, but I always think it's nice to dig through your collection and pull out seasonally appropriate palettes just to put you in the mood. If you're new to these videos, I like to pick palettes that are both new and old, some you can't get anymore, just to encourage you to pull out what you already have, but of course I also give you my recommendations for what you still can purchase as well. So without further ado, let's get into the first choice that I have. This is in no particular order. I have them organized by alphabetical order, uh, but not ranking anything like that. We're going to start off with the BH Cosmetics Summer in St. Tropez palette. Now, I did mention in a previous video that I wasn't going to put this one in this year's summer recommendations because I featured it last year, and then I went back and checked, and I actually didn't feature it last year, so I'm going to feature it this year. A little corny in that this is a summer-themed palette, and I'm saying, it's perfect for summer but it just fits so well it's a great summer palette now it's since been repackaged so it looks a little bit different than what you see right now but the colors and apparently the formulation is the same let's hope that that's the truth and it just has the most beautiful array of fun colors for this summer but you can also keep it a little bit more on the neutral side with the brown right here you can get really crazy with these colors down here and the shimmers are really stunning there's a couple in here that are duochromes and what's amazing about this palette is how affordable it is and how amazing the quality is i I've talked about this palette a lot on my channel, okay, because it's awesome. BH has some of the best formulas for the price out on the market, so if you're short for money or you don't want to spend a ton of money on an eyeshadow palette, I always recommend to go towards BH. They really do have the best formula, and this is a really fun one for this summer. And you will notice my choices for the most part for this season's video is very colorful makeup just because I feel like this is a summer like no other summer. We are bursting through our doors to get out of our house. It's the first time in a while where things are going to feel a little bit more back to normal, so why not have fun with it? Show off some fun colors. Now, I do have some neutral bronzy tones in here as well for you guys, but I think also with the fact that I can wear whatever I want, I can be as obnoxious as I want, is also what inspired me to pull out all these colors. Let's move on to the second choice. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. I wanted to pick one Charlotte Tilbury palette for you guys. If you were thinking of diving into the world of luxury makeup, I think that this is the perfect one for the summer. This is Copper Charge, so this is gonna be more for you neutral wearers. It's not gonna be as crazy as some of my other options that I'm giving you today. So this one, as you can see, it has one warm tones matte here that's extremely pigmented and then you have three different shades of golds and this one is like more of a copper but these two are more gold like and this is a really great formula from Charlotte Tilbury when this launched with the other palettes in the collection last year the formula I felt like had been stepped up so you're getting an awesome formula that's definitely worth the money I mean worth the money you know what I mean, but it's the best quality that Charlotte Tilbury has, so you're not going to be disappointed with the formula, and it's a really great everyday palette that I think is going to play well with the warm tones of summer, so this is the Charlotte Tilbury quad that I recommend. Moving on to the third palette, this is the palette that I'm wearing today. Now, I know my makeup is like crazy. I just filmed um, a reel with the ColourPop Barbie collection, so I thought it might as well be bright. Ideally, I would have more of a neutral lip or would be wearing a neutral eye with this lip. This lip, I was really, this is totally off track. This lip, I was really intimidated by, but I can really see it with like a plain eyelid, a really fun lip color, so don't be scared of this, but maybe don't pair these two together. Anyways, the ColourPop and Malibu Barbie palette is perfect for 
this summer. Now this is a new release, so it's not an older item, and I'm pretty sure at some point this probably will be discontinued. And the colors here, while it's not an extremely unique palette, you can definitely see it gives you those summer vibes. Everything from the packaging to the colors here. So the first look that I created with this palette... I can't even remember, what did it look like? Why am I blinking right now? Well, you can see the second look I did is very, very pink. I'm trying to show you the uh, the look that I did the first time. I don't know why I'm being all extra, like I can't just put a picture, but... I mean, not a cute freeze frame here, but you see I did pink on the lid and then orange on the crease for the first look now we went really pink I still need to play with the blues so I can't comment on the quality of the blues but so far so good I really like the quality of this I would say this shade and this shade they might need a little extra love to get it to stick to the eyelid so it's not impeccable quality but it's really great for the price and these are some really fun colors to you know have you step outside of your comfort zone and it really just gives you the spring vibes not spring. It really just gives you the summer vibes when you pull it out. And I don't know. It's something that I'm going to look forward to playing with. Speaking of summer, this room is hot. My upper lip gets sweaty. I do have a another ColourPop palette to share with you guys. I can't remember if I put this in my spring palettes or not, but it's just that good that I'm okay with repeating it in case that I did. But this is one of the most underrated palettes, the most underrated collection from ColourPop, in my opinion. And that is the Limoncello palette. I feel like this got lost in a sea of other releases that it just didn't get the attention that it deserved. But this, first of all, the packaging, you can see very summery if you're going for this summer vibes. You know, these two are very different vibes. But this one has three different tones that you can go for. Obviously you can mix and match, but you have more of a bronzy color story. You have more of like a yellow color story. I, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> these ones aren't as, uh, these ones don't really relate to the other ones as much. But you can see where I'm going with this. This is a really fun palette to have for this summer. And this is one where it's not a new release, but if you are looking to pick up a ColourPop palette, this has been my favorite one that has come out from them over the last few months. And I definitely think it's going to be a fun one for the summer. And if you're not into really bright tones like the ones that I'm showing you for the other palettes, this is a really good one to go to. Alright, moving on to the next option. I'm counting them all as one. And I don't think you can get them anymore. This is just a reminder to pull them out if you haven't. And I'm also telling you now, don't go out and buy them because they, they aren't the greatest. But if you spent your money on the Huda Beauty Neon Obsessions palette, pull them out, okay? I know you're not wearing them. I know I'm not wearing them, but I feel like this is a good time of year to give these guys a little bit of love. And being completely honest, I did not like the quality of these. That's why I'm saying I don't recommend them, even if you can get your hands on them. But to be fair, I mean, this is a time to use them if they've been sitting in your drawer. And you can definitely, definitely get some really fun looks with these. So I know for me, just so that these aren't sitting in the drawer. I'm gonna actually leave these out on my desk. So just put some fun pops in my look this summer. Even if it's just like putting one of these all over the lid, just give them a little bit of the attention that they deserve. And I hope you guys will too. So if you did pick these up, just add a little pop on your lid. These are asking for your attention. Moving on to the next palette. This is one that I used recently and I was like, yes, I want to use this one this summer more. So that is the Natasha Denona Circo Local Palette. Now, I'm not sure if the look that I did is going to be up yet, but if there's not a video of me using this in the last few days, then it will be following this video. But anyways, I said I wanted to bring out the fun colors for you guys. So this palette I really wasn't that excited about when it launched because these are not colors that I really would ever wear, but I've been so inspired by this palette and I'm actually surprised with how wearable the looks that I've been doing with this are. They, they haven't been very wearable if you didn't pick up on that. But I felt comfortable in them because the looks were just so pretty and you can do something a little bit more subdued, a little bit not obnoxious if you just play with two colors. Don't like put four different color stories on your eyes, then you might look a little crazy. But if you just stick with one monochromatic kind of look, that's how it's gonna look 
you know, good and wearable. But anyways, I mean, I think this is a really fun one to pull out. You spent a lot of money on it if you already have it. Give it some love. Now is the time. And if you really like color or you are looking to invest in good quality colors into your collection, I do recommend the Circle Local palette. In my original review, I don't think I recommended it. I said the quality was really good, but I mean, I just didn't see it as something that I would wear. I'm turning my wheels on that and I'm going backwards because I actually really, really like this, surprisingly. But that's just because I feel so inspired by eyeshadows and I've been playing more recently. So that's why. <clears throat> I do have another Natasha Denona palette for you guys. And this is one where if you want it, now is the time to pick them out. Okay, so this is an older palette that recently relaunched. So this is the Natasha Denona Holiday Palette. I believe this is from 2018. It's an older palette, maybe even 2017. And this is the Aries palette. Now, if you missed it, she didn't relaunch it. She restocked it on her site. I don't know why, very weird, but I'm not gonna question it. So I did buy this when it originally launched, but you know, me and my mom share a collection. So when this relaunched, I picked it up for a fresh run for myself. This is a summer palette. Even though it launched over the holiday season, I see it as a very summery palette. You have these really warm tones. Glittery shadows are the best in the summer because when the sun hits your eyes, you're just glittering like a little disco ball in the best way possible. And these shades do contain a little reflex that are gonna look so pretty against the sun. And then you have this fun pop of a beachy blue shade. So. If you have this, pull it out. If you've been wanting this, it is on sale on the Natasha Denona website for $38. Last I checked, it was still in stock. If you've been wanting it, I would say get it now before it goes out of stock, but this is a fun one to use this summer. Moving on, I had to throw in a Pat McGrath for you guys. So this one is one for me that I wasn't expecting to put in this video, but when I was going through my Pat McGrath palettes and I was thinking to myself, which one do I want to encourage myself and you guys to use this summer? I thought that the Mothership Divine Rose 2 would be one that I would want to work on a little bit more this summer. I don't know, like it looks summery to me, but it doesn't look like the other palettes that I'm recommending to Today. I mean you have this really fun pop of pink which is going to be super cool for the summer and you can get some golden kind of looks here maybe it's not a palette that screams summer to me but I do think these are very complimentary tones to the season especially if you're a little bit more of a wearable kind of girl this isn't a neutral palette by any means but it's not obnoxiously bright and rainbow like some other palettes that I've mentioned I definitely want to use this one more this summer and what the kind of pop of of this palette is going to be for the summer is the pink and then we have these other complementary tones to go with it and to neutralize it and make it more wearable as well so this is the palette that I am gunning for using more this summer all right the next palette that we have is an older one again this is from rare beauty this is the confident energy palette and I actually featured its counterparts in my spring palette video, but this one absolutely screams summer to me. So this, if you hadn't heard me say it before, was one of the biggest shocks of eyeshadow palettes for me because I was not expecting it to be good. I don't know, it just looked kind of cheap to me. And then I got it and I fell in love with it. The quality is awesome, especially for the price. I believe it was around $25. So how I would recommend using this palette is they are beautiful washes of color all over the lid and look at these fun summery tones. This green all over the lid, this gold all over the lid, a pop of blue on the lower lash line. This is going to be a really fun easy palette to use this summer. I'm telling you, don't think too hard about this pops of color all over the lid. This palette has you covered. I also think this palette is really great for teenagers or girls just getting into makeup. It's not too pricey and it's got fun colors for them and they're very easy to use. And like I said, a quick pop on the lid and you're good to go. So this one has a great color story for this summer. Great quality. Pull it out if you have it. And honestly, this is one that I would recommend if you can still get your hands on it to go out and buy it. I mean, I'm not going to tell you to go out and buy something, but Final stretch here, we are on the last one. This one, my idea was travel. I am in 
the travel mode. I have not traveled in a very long time, like a lot of you. And pretty soon in a couple of weeks, Jose and I are going to go to Florida. You guys know we're considering moving there. We're going to suss it out, see what is there, if we like it, the vibe, all of that. And I thought that the Vizzy Art Warm Edit Palette would be the perfect palette for this summer, for summer travel. It is teeny weeny the tiniest little palette that holds so many colors there are 12 colors in this little little bit of palette and as you can see it has these beautiful warm bronzy tones really wearable for travel really warm for the summer you can really play with the warmer tones here or you can keep it more neutral over here i just think this is not only the perfect travel palette for summer it's just a great palette for summer overall if you are interested in trying out the Viz the art formula this is a really not cheap it's a great value so it's a great way to try the formula at a great value but most importantly for me I think of summer I think of vacation which makes me think of this little guy that is perfect to travel with this summer with the perfect tones to go with the occasion so there we have it. Those are my top 10 summer palettes that I am going to be trying to use more this season as well as hopefully encourage you to use as well. Or at least I hope you found a new palette that you were interested in if you were looking also. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.